Well, Lila Hogan has burned through, I think, several pairs of shoes in the race for a judge here in the 21st Judicial District. We're in a meet, and obviously, I mean, you're going to a lot of events. I am. I'm having a great time. I'm meeting a lot of people, and it's just wonderful meeting the people in our district. Well, for instance, what do you hear in a meet? What do I hear? I hear great things in a meet. Uh, it's a very, very strong Lila Hogan town. I'm sure you'd say that in just about every place in the district, but Livingston Parish is said to be the key. Your opponent, Jeff Oglesby, thinks that he's going to come out of that parish like a house of fire enough to win. I think he's going to be surprised. How do you do that? You're obviously a Democrat and one of two in the race. You're from Tangipaho Parish. You don't have any real strong ties to Livingston. How do you go over there and get a piece of the action? I do have a lot of strong ties in Livingston Parish. The people that I have met, and I've been to the woods and I've been to the towns and the cities, and I'm getting people all over Livingston Parish are saying they want me because they care about families. This isn't about politics. This isn't about Democrat or Republican. It's who is going to be most favorable toward families. Who's going to protect the children and who's going to help the families in our district? And that's what counts and that's what's important. Well, based on signs and also, frankly, campaign contributions, it looks as though in the Springfield, Killian, Maurepas area, the low country, the French country of Livingston Parish, that you have established some support. Oh, all over, all over. And I, I love the people in Springfield, Killian, and Maurepas. I love the chief of police of Killian, Dennis Hill, Maurepas, the fire department, uh, Springfield, the alderman, the former alderman, uh, the mayor, all of these people. And not just the people who are the public officials, but the people that are out there daily working hard, working hard to make a living. Those are the people who are for me. I'm trying to handicap the race, and it's hard because Let's be honest, there's not nearly as much voter interest as you'd get in a hot sheriff's race or, you know, the elections that have really fiery campaigns. And some people are telling me, look, Ken, if this was a, well, an election for a district court judge instead of a family court judge, people would be more engaged. What do you think? Is family court just not of interest to people? I think if people thought about it, they would know that this is the most important judge's election they will ever vote in. That's but a bold statement. It is bold. And the reason is that this is the court, and we're setting it up for the first time. This is the court that's going to affect every family in our district. Not just the families who are going to be in court, but it affects people in classrooms and teachers and principals and store owners. It affects everybody. What happens in custody and child support, spousal support, spouse abuse. Every family in this district, some way or another, is going to be affected. And yes, it ought to be on the radar, and people should be voting because it's such an important court. Well, the most recent campaign finance report, it appeared that you were down to very little money left. However, you've had a fundraiser since then, so have you replenished the coffers enough to go the home stretch? Absolutely. Well, can you be a little more specific? How successful was your fundraiser? Well, our fundraiser was very good. Uh, we raised plenty of money, and we have other money coming in all over. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much we raised. I don't know how much we raised. I really don't. That's not, to me, I'm working. I'm out there burning up the streets, working my head off, pounding the pavement, shaking hands, meeting people everywhere I go, whether it's a cafe or it's a public event like this, the sheriff's breakfast, whatever, wherever I go, churches, everywhere. That's what I'm concentrating on. Other people are raising money and it's coming in. It's coming in big. In closing then, what if you're faced in the final stretch with some negative ads? I mean, that is a very commonplace tactic at the end, especially in what has been a relatively low interest campaign. I'm gonna tell you my philosophy on negative ads. I think they backfire. I think the people are tired of negative campaigning, and I will not do it. I will not participate in negative backbiting, mudslinging, because I don't believe in it. And that's the same thing that I don't believe in our court. The whole reason I'm running is to stop the destruction and the mudslinging so mud in our family court. So I want to model the behavior that I expect in my court. I'm going to stay positive. I want the families in our court to focus on the children. This is election is not about politics. It's not about power. It's about families and children and protecting the children. And that's why I'm running. And I call on my opponents not to sling the mud. Let's do, let's have a pact that we're going to 
focus on what's important in this election, which is our family court and being positive. I'm going to stay positive regardless of the mud that may be slung against me. This is important. It's positive families and children. That's my message.